So here we are, Horton Chapel, Epsom. It's um, how would you describe how would you describe that building? Actually, it's uh, impressive. I think is probably the phrase. Imposing, isn't it? Yeah. It's a, it is a big building. Oh, it's called a chapel, but it's not really a chapel, is it? No, Chapels well, are small. Well, apart from the bit on the top, <laughs> look where you see where the bell is. So, what's the history of the place? It was the church for the uh, hospital site for the yeah. mental hospital cluster that uh, Epsom was well known for during the 20th century. So this was a church that was right at the centre of it, so it would have been an important part of their lives, uh, buzzing with people, particularly on a Sunday, obviously. Uh, but now, when the developments happened and the hospitals went and the land was built on, uh, it's been left abandoned. Yeah. And it's been abandoned for, what, the last 15 years or so? Yeah, since, uh, well, sometime in the 1990s it was abandoned, yeah. So there were five hospitals around here, and it's, it was almost like a, a little city. Yes, uh, And this was. this was one of the focal points for the community. So what's the plan to do with it? Well the plan is to bring it back to life, to put it back in the heart of the community. We want to make a, an arts centre, community arts centre, not for profit, uh, for anybody and for everybody, anyone interested in the arts. So you can come and perform, you can come and create, you can come and learn, uh, play your musical instruments, uh, you can hire the space, there'll be a cafe as well, uh, to make it really come alive again be something that Epsom and Yule does not have, and this could be really important. Yeah, absolutely. I want to go and have a look inside now. Let's go and have a look. Okay, here we go. Wow, yeah, that is. That is big. Yeah, well, that's your first view of it. <laughs> you don't expect it to be as big as this? No, well, this would be the performance space. Yeah. So the building is divided up. We would keep it divided up to get a, a measure of separation, but with a view to keeping as much of the original features as possible. Yeah. Uh, so in this section, we'd keep the windows. Obviously, the pillars have to stay because they're holding the building yeah. up. Uh, but this would be a space that would be flexible, could be hired by people maybe for a birthday party, that kind of thing. Live um, performances, music, absolutely. all yep. that type of stuff. Yeah. And this, this is even bigger. Yeah. Well. <laughs> so this is the main yeah. space. Um, <laughs> and as you can see, virtually untouched since the day they walked out and locked the door. Yeah. The, the pews are still here. So 15 years ago, this is probably how it was then. Yeah. And so we'd keep the barrel vaults, uh, very impressive as you can see and this would be the exhibition space, the learning space yeah. and would also house uh, the permanent exhibition that we're planning for the heritage of the building and of the uh, hospitals as well that it served. And coming up towards here which is the altar area you can see with the pipes and the walking yeah, are still they're, here. They're beautiful. Yeah, absolutely stunning. And we keep the original features as much as possible including the tiled flooring here. And this would be the cafe space where you can okay. come and enjoy your coffee or your lunch as well. So the idea is to fill the building once again with people, to fill it with life, to fill it with vitality, to serve a purpose once again and really make it come alive. It sounds fantastic. Mm -hmm.